hi guys welcome back to another video firstly thank you to those for subscribing thank you for the kind comments it is much appreciated um, i'm continuing my theme of working alongside the panasonic lumix g9 unpacking the features of that amazing camera as we speak i've got it um doing a little time lapse out there because it's beautifully cloudy today and rainy so i thought i'll just do a bit of a time lapse which will be the um the subject of my next video or one of the following videos anyway as the name implies aperture to zoom where we cover in its entirety everything around photography and videography all the concepts um using the different uh, lenses and uh, mainly focusing on Lumix cameras. I've used two Lumix cameras so far. The Lumix G7 was my first one. And now I've got the Lumix G9. The G7 I use mainly for video. And I'm also going to be giving a thorough um, look at that camera because that camera still sells on Amazon today. And one you've got to ask why, because it's an amazing little camera. But um, today's video is the subject of the G9 and one of the features is the 4K, 6K modes. Now, even though it's called photo mode, it actually shoots little video clips, either in 4K or 6K. And you've got different modes that you can set it in. You've got like a burst mode where you push the trigger down, release it and it stops. And then it's got another one which is like a camcorder where you press it, it starts recording and then press it again, it stops recording and then it's got a pre-burst mode depending on what your setting is, if it's in 4K um, high which is 60 frames per second or 4K at 30 frames per second what pre-burst does is, it's quite amazing in as much as when you push the shutter button it pre-records 30 or 60 frames or however quick you push that before the, the shutter and that way you can capture your subject or what it is you are ho hoping to capture um, even though it was raining a few minutes ago I managed to sneak out and I've got two little examples of what that 4k pre-burst looks like I just managed to find two birds and obviously we don't know when the birds are going to take off so the minute they took off i hit the shutter right held it for a second or two and then released it and lo and behold i actually captured the footage of the bird taking off so that's what pre-burst does it allows you to capture pre the event but rather than me waffle on, let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll wrap it up. Alright guys, so um, as promised, I just want to stress one thing before I show you the results here. That I, on all these examples, I only push the button after the fact, okay? So when I noticed the bird was taken off, I pushed the button on both occasions. And even when my wife dropped the tennis ball, I only pushed the button after. So as you can see, if um, I just grab this, I'll do it on the camera and you'll see what it looks like because there's 4K individual photos and it shows a little better on the camera, but I'll show you that at the end. But as you can see, it's at this point where the bird takes off. So I ab absolutely captured that, right? But all these frames prior to that, you can see the birds sort of pecking around. That's what it. That's what the pre-burst is in essence. It captures, like I said, if you're shooting 30 frames per second, it'll then capture 30 frames prior to you sh um, pressing the button. Or if you were shooting in 4K high, which is 60 frames per second, then it would take 60. So I would always suggest using 60 because there's a a greater chance of you capturing the shot and as you can see there it's, it's taken quite a few shots pre the the takeoff but there at that point there bang you can see I've actually captured the takeoff so that's example number one 
All right, so in the second example, as you can see, the bird is perched on that branch there, right? And I'm now waiting for the bird to take off. But there's some footage pre that bird taking off. And now I haven't got a clue when it's going to take off, right? And so I hit the button after the effect. And there you can see I've captured the takeoff quite comfortably. But there's some footage beforehand as well. So that's another good example of how the pre-burst works. Shooting in 4K or 6K, 30 frames or 60 frames per second. All right, guys, there's just one other thing I want to show you what it looks like in the camera. If you venture to the preview mode and then click on the 4K button there, it does this little preview thing. All right, and then all you do is scroll using the slider at the bottom here to whatever, oops, to whatever picture you prefer. And then once you're happy with that, select that button save the image so yep that's what it looks like sort of in camera just thought i'd share that too thank you all right guys well that sort of concludes the video on 4k 6k uh, photo mode and um, hopefully that sort of makes sense and uh, you can find a useful somewhere i think the most practical example would be sort of birds taking off and um just anything where there's split second action where you you know you don't want to record copious amounts of video in fact i'm not sure if 4k normal video would do the job and you could dissect the frames i'm not sure but um, the 4k photo mode either the burst or the stop start or the pre-burst options certainly answers that question in spectacular fashion so look thanks for watching i hope that um, you've learned something in the process as the name implies, Aperture to Zoom, we're going to keep smashing through these concepts. Uh, please consider subscribing, share it with somebody who you think would find it useful. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Over and out. Cheerio. Bye-bye.